Okay, so today we're going to be talking about adding BIM information to AutoCAD MEP objects. That way, in Navis works, um, they come in correctly. So, um, we've got Navis works loaded here, and we'll select this panel. And you can see in under properties, um, pretty much there is no information about this panel other than what layer it's coming in on, maybe. Um, yeah, you just, I guess you can tell it's a panel because of the layer name, but besides that, um, you really got nothing going for you. Now, um, same thing with conduit. If we look at conduit, you'll see that there is no conduit information here. So, in this video, we'll be talking about how you can get that stuff to come in. Um, I guess you have the length coming in here. I also added that a minute ago, but anyway, so we'll go back to MEP here. Um, so, MEP is style based, so that's how you're going to get this kind of information to come in. So, I'm going to Changing my viewports here and I'm gonna get cracking at it. So the way that you get this stuff to come in is I'll draw a new conduit here. And I don't know what size that is. Um, so that is um, three inch conduit. And if we come over here to extended data, you'll see that this is coming in. And the reason why that is coming in is because a moment ago I just went down here and you just select well, I guess we should just go ahead and just do a new drawing. So we'll do conduit. We'll come down here to properties, then extended data. And we'll just check this, attach add property sets. And um, there's a property set called conduit object that is designed to come in for conduits. So that's why it is populating here. We'll talk about that more in a second. And then when we check properties, all this information is coming in. So this is all going to come into Navisworks now, um, assuming you know this is important to Navisworks. So then the, the, where this information is controlled from is up here in Style Manager. And it's underneath Documentation Objects because um, we're trying to bring in BIM information so that, that, that is you know, documentative in nature. So then we'll come down here to property, set definitions, and uh, the one that we just saw was kind of an object. So this is everything that comes in based off of um, the, that's coming in for the, the, the conduit. So if you wanted to add something, you just come over here to the right and you would add um, something in here. So if you need to do a formula, um, you can do that. Um, the whole nine, uh, you, you'll have to look into that more now. Um, one that you'll really struggle with is panels because it's not set up to begin with. So in order to do a panel, what we'll do first is we'll just insert a panel on plan. Now here under attributes, it is, um, you know, you have the names and the phases and, and, and all of this. Um, however, nothing comes in on Navisworks. So we go here to extended data, there's nothing here, and you can't click down here um, to add a property set definition. The reason why is because there is not an existing property set definition for panels. So we're going to need to make one. The way we're going to do that is we're just going to come over here to the documentation objects, property set definitions, right click, new, we'll call it panel, then under applies to, you'll find the panel. Um, it is right here. So we'll select that. It's going to take a moment for it to process. And then what we're, now what we're going to do is we're just going to go over here to definitions. And OK, so we'll hit apply on that. Go back to that. And then under definitions, I'm going to add the automatic property definitions, so we'll click on that. And these are all of the property definitions that are inherent to the panel. Um, so for example, we definitely want panel name. I don't know how you add more of these, um, so I guess that's a different conversation to have later on. But um, panel, panel name, voltage. Um, I saw that there was an attribute for if it was um, MLO or not, but I'm not seeing that in here. Unfortunately. So we'll just add those two for now. Hit apply. OK. Select our panel. And now we'll come down here. We'll add property set definitions. And it's only going to populate property set definitions that apply to that type of object. So um, when we were in that applies to window about 30 seconds ago, that, that's where that is coming from. We'll hit OK there. And now this stuff will come into Navisworks as BIM information.